Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and our helmet tier list video. So this is gonna be based off of how the helmets work right now and some of the new ones with patch 14.0. We'll also dive into face masks and a little bit other headwear for the fun of it, we'll say. But let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, so here we are. I don't have every piece of headwear in here. I don't have like the hats and beanies, but I have some that are worth mentioning or talking about or just having some fun with. So we'll go over mostly helmets and then some of the face covers and things like that as well. But here's the list and uh, we'll get started, shall we? Uh, F tier is gonna be pretty simply listed to a couple specific things because they're pretty much useless. Now, some people might think this LLCS face mask thingy is cool. And I guess it would be if you could wear ears with it, but you can't, so uh, it goes away. And then the Ushanka, it deserves to be down here because the only time you wear it is during setup and that task absolutely sucks. It's like walking across broken glass. So F tier for the Ushanka. Now, E tier is a special place for helmets. This is the place where these are the helmets that specifically you put on your new friends uh, that aren't used to Tarkov and you tell them they're good. So they walk around and they look like complete buffoons and can't hear anything either. But that's what's in here. And that's pretty much all these helmets are. They're class one, class two. Uh, they don't do anything pretty much but block your ear, your hearing. So you can't hear anything. So you're wonderfully oblivious until you get sent back to your stash by some level 75 Chad running around with BP or M995. Now the tanker helmet, this is actually S tier if it's on scavs and everybody knows this, that if a scav has a tanker helmet, it takes like three shots to kill him. It doesn't matter if this is class one, it's actually like class seven on scavs. But we're not talking about scavs, we're talking about PMCs. And if you wear it, you're just gonna die. It doesn't work, it doesn't work for you like it works on uh, AI scavs. Now one that I know I'm, is gonna tilt a lot of people and I don't really care because you're wrong and I'm right, is all the folks that think this TK Fast MT helmet is good. Uh, yes, it does have a high ricochet chance, but it's only class one, which means it's not even going to stop uh, BBs. It's barely a helmet that's gonna keep you from bumping your head and hurting your head. People like it because you can put face shields on it, you can do other stuff, but at that point, you're just throwing away all the money for those attachments anyways. If you can afford to buy a slap plate or a trooper face mask, or a face shield, you can afford to buy a real damn helmet, not a toy. All this ends up doing is telling everybody you're way more geared than you are because people see it at a distance and don't know it's a crappy helmet. They think it's a good one and think you're a Chad and then they might try to hunt you down. So it actually works against you. So don't be the Goomba that wears this thing with expensive gear around it. Now after that is a shattered mask. And I know a lot of people like this. And if this was a drip contest, this thing would definitely be up in the A tier, but it's really not. And this thing is super overhyped. It does have a ricochet chance, but it's class one, which means it doesn't stop much of anything. So when somebody blasts you in the face with shotgun rounds, sure, maybe it uh, makes half the pellets bounce on the side of your face, but the ones that are in the center ain't gonna bounce and you're gonna die. So it uh, it might make you feel more invincible and you might hear that one story where some guy bounced M61, but that was one round of 100 he's taken in the face. So that's just, yeah, it's E tier, it's not great. And unfortunately, the Glorious C mask is the same way. As much as I love Glorious and as great of a content creator as he is, streamer, he's one of the best out there, hands down. And it sucks to put his face, have to do this to his face mask, but it just, this is a coverage thing. This is how well they work, right? And while it might look cool and it's a good homage to a streamer, probably one of the best streamer items out there, it just, it doesn't work. I didn't die, but that's like one in a million that that actually happened. So again, not a looks contest. If you're after that, Sure, maybe that's that's probably an S tier in the looks, but for protection wise, it only covers your eyes and the top of your head. It doesn't cover the face hitbox or the jaw hitbox, which there's extra ones now with patch 14. Uh, so it's just not great. Now for D tier, I'm gonna go about these really quickly simply because they just are what they are. These are starter helmets. They're not terrible, but they're not good. Uh, they're right there in the middle. It is, they both have ear protection. They're both class three. So they have that going for them, but the SSH, the Stalininium helmet specifically, while it can bounce rounds, it, uh, it, it's really limited on what headsets you can wear with it. It's kind of heavy. It's just not that great of a helmet. And the Untar, while it is a more streamlined helmet, you can wear more headsets with it. It's bright blue. It's easy to see. So it's bad for coverage. And speaking of that, that's why this goes down here. I won't even put these in my inventory most of the time. They are cursed. If you put a tan U lock on, you are going to die. There's just something about how it renders in the game. It's like a giant magnet for your skull. Just, it's not good. And while the helmet stats might be great, leading to being shot and easier spotted in the head is not. So that is why that is in a D tier. Sure, it might be better to wear than something naked, but just barely. 
And this one, I was kind of, I wanted to meme. I wanted to put this in S tier just to go with the super tank meme from years gone by, but the helmet's just not good. You can't wear a face shield with it. It covers your ears. You can't hear anything. And it looks like you have a giant diaper on top of your head. So yeah, it's just a D tier helmet. Now onto the C tier, and this is gonna be kind of the, the money zone, if you will, for a lot of players. This is gonna be helmets you're gonna use basically until you get a lot of money or you get into that class three and four Ragman where you can afford to buy off the trader some of the other helmets. And the first one we're gonna put up in here is the new Tor 2. Uh, that is because it's class three, so it's not great, um, but it does have ear protection. It's got decent durability, so that's why I put it in C tier versus D tier. If it didn't have ear coverage, it probably wouldn't still go into D tier uh, because it's still a decent helmet, but it's right there, kind of in the middle of C and D, but it goes up to C because it has ear coverage. Now, these other ones don't have ear, ear protection, which is a problem. They're class three uh, and they're okay helmets. I do wear them, especially early on, but not having ear protection. I mean, the LZSH you can put here, you can buy ears and put it on there. You can't with the HGM, but it's still just class three. This means that rounds even into the, like the 25 pen have a really, really good chance of killing you even if they hit the helmet. You're basically just leaning on this to sh stop shotgun rounds, your lowest end pistol rounds, and then maybe getting some ricochets if you're lucky. Now with this is the Kiever helmet, and this kind of underrates the helmet. I wanna put this into a B class, but you just really can't. And the reason I would say it would be a B tier helmet is because it's one of the first ones you can get with a face shield. And at lower levels, especially early wipe running around with a class three helmet and a class three face shield, you can own factory with stuff like that because it stops most of the pistol rounds people have uh, and shotgun rounds. And it's a really powerful step up for a short period of time. But because it's that short, it just can't put it higher than that. It's got a very small window in which it's a great helmet to use, especially with a lot of the stuff being on the flea market and be able to buy it. It just gets outclassed really quickly. Now the next helmet, this is, I don't have a Killa helmet. I didn't put one on here. And this is the Mishka helmet. It's the same thing as Killa. Killa is just painted different. They're the same stats, everything else. And it doesn't have the face shield on here. And the helmet's only class four. Yes, the face shield's class six, but it also means you can't see anything when you're wearing the face shield. And then all the other spots, your ears, the top of your head, the back of your head, those don't have, they have class four protection, not class six. And combined with not being able to hear anything and not being able to see anything, this helmet is just, honestly, the only time you see it is if somebody's really memeing around, or kind of cheaters wear it. At least that's really the only time I really see it. Doesn't mean everybody wearing it's a cheater because it does can it does have anti-cheater properties. Some people wear it when they do fight cheaters a lot on labs and things and can have some success with it. But for most purpose and most people, it's just not a useful helmet. It's also really hard to get. So yeah. Now the last one's interesting. Um, it does have some uses. It's just not awesome. It is class three Aramid all the way around. And it does cover your ears, your neck, top of head, jaw, face, everything in between. It doesn't cover your neck. It doesn't cover your, your throat, but it does cover everything else with a good class three Aramid. And it's pretty cheap now. It's uh, it's like around 40K, give or take, but you can't wear ears with it. So this might be something at lower levels you wanna run if you wanna give up your hearing protection. It's gonna save you from a lot of scav shots. Like if you feel like you're dying to scavs a lot and you find one of these, maybe slap it on because it's, it's gonna stop them shotgun rounds and some of them pistol rounds. But that's about it. So while it does have some utility and maybe it belongs down in the D class, we're gonna put it in C just because it looks super cool. And at least it does have really good coverage, including the, the including your eyes and ears. Now going up to the B class, this is gonna be where once you get through C, these are the helmets you should be buying. And honestly, once you get to the flea market, these first two are the ones that I always go to and I run a lot. And that is the 2000, 2002 and 2001. There really isn't much of a difference between these, a little bit of a durability, but not enough that matters in any meaningful way. Uh, and they're usually pretty close to each other on the flea. They run anywhere from 45 to 50, sometimes 60K, uh, but they are class four, which means they're gonna stop a whole lot more rounds that hit you in the head. But they don't have ear protection, so they drop down from that. And they don't have no way to add ear protection. So they're just kind of one of those really good budget helmets that gives you good coverage. You can put NVGs on them. You can put a flashlight on them if you want. But other than that, they're pretty limited. And for that same reason, that's why this ACCH helmet is in here. These are decent helmets. And there's not really a difference between the black and the green one. Um, they are pretty much the same. One might be cheaper than the other, but they don't have hearing protection. You can't put NVGs on them. You can't put lights on them. Uh, but they are decent class four protection. They will bounce a lot of shots. They're an okay helmet. If you find them, use them, you know, take them off other players. There's not much of a practical difference between the TC 2000s and the, the ACCA, the ACAHH, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm trying to say. So that's why it's in class B. 
it's a good helmet it's not great uh, but once you get to the flea or get traders unlocked it can be a mainstay for quite a while now the cayman is a rare helmet it is a b-tier helmet because it has so many attachments you can make it, it, it you can't put it down here because it has so much more utility than the other but it can't go up here because it just doesn't have the protection the cayman has 10 bazillion attachments for it not really it's like five and it's only class three but it has a lot of pieces that can go with it and we'll actually flip over to the game real quick so i can show you because a lot of people might know, not know about this um and not realize that the helmet has a lot of parts so you can get it off a of peacekeeper i think it's behind a i can't remember if it's behind a task or not it might be but um it's got a lot of parts we got the helmet there's the applique it's basically a up armored piece uh, a slap plate almost if you will you got your glasses which I can't buy these because I don't have dollars right now and I'm not gonna screw around with that. So we'll just go to the flea market. And then it also has some jaws, which are right here. And we'll buy those off the flea too because I don't have dollars. And all of these go onto this helmet. You can put all of these on there. And the big D, and it kind of looks space troopery. There is no ear protection, unfortunately, for it. You know, I'll link search and show you. You can't put any ears on there, which does suck. Um, but you can put NVGs on there. It's got all the other stuff. And the up armor, the the, uh, the applique is actually class four. So now you have class three with class four on top of it and it covers head, top and nape. So it covers a lot of those other helmets. The downside is, is the jaw piece is only class two. And so is the face, the eyes. The thing covers face eyes is only class two. It's better than nothing, but not much. The good news is, is you do get coverage on the jaws and the eyes and the face and just nothing on the ears, which is a weak point for the helmet, but still puts it into that category where I believe it should be a class or a B, B tier helmet. It is expensive though. So keep that in mind. It's much more expensive than these. It just has better coverage and a little bit more utility. Now, the next one is another mainstay for a lot of people. And it's a decent helmet, even though it's only class three, but I want to put it here because it's also a cheap helmet. There's not really, there's no difference between this helmet and the other one that you can barter for on, uh, I believe Ragman. Yeah, right here, two bleaches gets you this it's it's got the the cover on it but that's the only thing it's just a look deal um and you can get it for 20k because you can get your bleaches for about 10k or less and it's class three but you can put nvgs on it and you can wear it covers uh your ears so it provides that extra level of protection and that's why i have it here you also needed to use it during punisher um but it, it with it being budget and having ear protection and still being able to wear ears i think this is a, a good helmet now you could put the Tor in this in the same class almost, right? And some people might say the Tor is even better because it's got higher durability. The problem is the Tor is more expensive. And that's why if you're going to run one or the other, you know, 60K versus 30K for basically the same protection, why are you going to pay twice as much? You can get two helmets for, or almost three helmets for the price of this one. Um, and yes, you can put face shields on this and you can't on the other one, but still twice as expensive. So feel free to disagree with me. That's fine. I like it. That's a helmet. It's one of the, this helmet I use basically between here and here. I will usually, I will use the 6B47 over the LZSH because of the ear protection. And then I kind of stop using this once I get into the TC 2000s. But I believe it, it was above a C class and I'm not going to do intermediate classes. So it goes into the B. Now, next up is a helmet that is really cool. It's brand new. I haven't used it really much this wipe, but it's probably one of the cooler looking ones. It is only class three but it does have an attachment that covers not only the ears and the jaws, but the face and the throat. So let's go look at that real quick. It's this Diamond Age Neo Steel Ballistic Helmet Mandible. The downside is, is it's super expensive and it's not that great. You know, it's only class three. I suspect maybe they might add a barter or a way to buy this at some point in the future. I'm not sure. Um, I've seen a couple people wearing it. It lo does look super cool, the shark mouth and everything. So under the assumption that it's going to become more available eventually, that's why I have this in class B because the it, it's a three helmet that covers almost everything. It covers everything except your eyes um, and your neck. And that is top tier protection for most helmets, even in class three or four. So if they don't ever make that cheaper, then yeah, that probably belongs down here. But assuming that, that that face mask thingy, that shark face gets more available, I'll put it in a B. Now, the next one is kind of an argumentative point, I know, uh, but it's it's kind of a personal favorite of mine, and that is the LZSH um, or a ZSH helmet. This, this helmet is class four. It has a face shield. And when you can get these, these are your first real good face shield helmets you can wear. Uh, they're real powerful. They're only short lived. And yes, they're only class three face shields and class four helmets with no ears. 
but there is a period in your progression it doesn't matter when in the wipe you're doing that this is going to be your best option and cheapest and most available option to get a face shield and a helmet um, to go into factory or any close quarters that you want to do it will stop shotgun rounds and it's going to stop most pistol rounds so it does win on those sides of things and that's why i put it in a class b it's not as good as some of these other helmets that we're talking about and some of these might be better in certain circumstances but because it's class four and it's very specific uk case that's why i put it in b now the next one i wanted to put higher i thought about this quite a bit and this is the lshz this helmet is kind of cool uh it's one of the only helmets that you can wear that has actual true neck protection so it's class four by itself right it's not too bad it's relatively cheap you can you can technically put nvgs on it but more importantly, the thing that makes it super cool is the Aventail coverage. This is class five neck protection. So this is even better than the helmet and it covers that vulnerable neck spot. And then with that, you can put, it's got a face shield that is also class four. So your class four helmet, class four face shield, which is really good. Uh, and then class five neck, neck protection. And like I said, I wanted to move this up into A almost, but you'll the helmets that are in A are why this got pushed to B basically but it is fantastic coverage and protection, and it's really not that expensive to run for what you get. So keep that in mind, if you have a little extra cash or you have some traders unlocked and you are going factory, this is a class four face shield, which means you're even able to stop a lot of the, the earlier low level uh, rifle rounds. This face shield will stop that and including the helmet. And then the neck protection is just that extra bonus. Just make sure you're wearing armor that has throat protection on it and you will be golden. And then the next one we're going to put on here is the brand new face mask, the CQCM. This is class four. Cool mask. It's really hard to get to. I think it unlocks somewhere at Lightkeeper. Uh, it's really expensive on the flea market. And again, it's class four and you can wear ears with it. It's kind of like the Tegilla mask, but its downside is, is it doesn't cover the ears. And if you watched my helmet testing video, you'll see, you'll know why that's super important. Ear protection is super important when you're comparing one helmet to another. And with this not having hearing protection, you can still get killed facing somebody. I say hearing protection, I meant ear protection. The ears don't matter so much other than helping you hear. Uh, but it does co cover uh, head top of head and it covers the jaw and the eyes and the face and everything like that. So it is pretty decent and it looks badass, but it's not as good as some of your other options. So it falls in the B tier. Now, because we're talking about this, we'll go right with the Tegilla mask because it's kind of falls in the same category. And the reason the Tegilla mask is class A or is A tier versus B is because it's class five and it covers your ears. You can't wear ears with it, your hearing's limited and it doesn't cover the back of your head at all, uh, which is really exposed, but it does cover ears and it covers everything else on the front down to the jaws, just not the throat. But you can only get it by killing Tagilla. There's no other way to get it. If you run a lot of factory, you'll get a lot of them um, or killing players that have them. But that class five face shield will eat a ton of rounds from several bullets. It's great for scavs. Uh, and it has provides awesome visibility. It doesn't crack and shatter like face shields do. Now with that, we're gonna put the, this is where we're gonna put the Alton and the Rice T, which for most, they're basically the same helmet. They're class five. Uh, the Rice T's Titan and the Alton's steel. So there is a little bit of a difference there with those and the higher durability and stuff, but it, it, the, this use case is really small and it's more of a luck thing than anything. And with the, the level five face shields, it does provide some of the best protection in the game. Its biggest weakness being that it doesn't cover the throat and the neck. And you can make up for that with some of the armors, just at best class three. You also pretty much give up all your hearing and you have a face shield that can be cracked. So if somebody pops you in the face with like, let's say a shotgun, you're gonna be alive, but you can't see anything. So you're scrambling around trying to get in cover while the guy with the shotgun is trying to get to your legs or get to your arms or even plug you with more shotgun rounds and just ring your bell till you fall over dead. So while they are great protection, they are one of the best in the game, I can't put them in S tier because of their drawbacks. And those drawbacks, things like those drawbacks are where these next couple of helmets come into play here. Now I have both of the X fills and there's a reason I have them in here because they are different. The brown one, you cannot put a face shield on. You can put ears on it, you can put the Wendy ears, but there is no face shield for this. So it is class four, it has class three ears that are aluminum, um, good protection, it's light, good ricochet chance, all that kind of stuff that you get from the other helmets. Um, and it looks cool, but not being able to put a face shield on it, I have to be able to differentiate it from the other helmets. So it falls in the A tier. And that's kind of the same thing with the TC-800. Decent, I don't wanna say inexpensive, medium expensive helmet that you can put face shields on. Uh, it's class four and you can put NVGs with it. It looks cool, but you can't put ears on it. Um, and for me, and I hopefully for you, that is a super important thing you need to lean into is ear protection whenever possible. 
And with that, this is why we have the Fast MT in here. And I was drawn on this. I really wanted to put the Fast MT up here uh, because it was potentially a really good option to go up there, but it just didn't meet with some of the other helmets and coverage. So the reason I say that is because the Fast MT specifically, you cannot put both ears and the visor face shield on at the same time. The only way you can put ears on this, and I'll show you here real quick. I think I have one built. Trooper face mask. Now I've got the TK Fast MT because we were doing some experiments specifically with that. It operates the same as the Fast MT. So just keep that in mind. Now, when you put ears on here, the mounting system takes up the same place that the face shield mounts to. So you can't put that face shield on there. And you can see that, I'll, I'll see if this works right here. So yeah, so the slot's not empty, right? Uses the same mounting as the bigger face shield. But what you can do is put the TK Trooper Heavy on there, which then you have really good coverage. The, just the downside is, is the Trooper face mask is only class two Aramid. So with those limitations, we're gonna put it in class A. It's a good helmet, it's class four. It does have lots of options, but those options kind of limit each other. Now the next helmet, this is our last one uh, that's gonna go in class A, and it is the Bastion. And I can already hear people screaming in the future about this, and I had it in S tier. And it was an S tier till I got the whole list together and I looked at it and I was like, I just can't put it up here. I can't put it up there because it doesn't have ear protection. Yes, you can put a class six slap plate on it, but you can do the same thing with the Fast MT. It can put a, a slap plate on it as well. And so can you with the LZSH and some of the others. The, the Bastion is a great helmet. It is one of the best out there and it has the highest potential to stop M61 or SNB when you get shot in the head, as long as it hits that part with that up armored piece. And for example, just let me show you what I'm talking about for those that might not know. Um, the Bastion helmet has this Bastion top plate that is class six, but it's ceramic, so it breaks really easily. It's only good for about one shot usually, maybe two if it's a lower caliber round, um, and then it goes right to a class four helmet. But it's only top of head and nape. There is no ear protection. So again, it is very limited with that and how it works. It is still a great helmet. I just believe it didn't match with up with some of the other ones because of their versatility and their coverage. So on to the S tier, and we won't do a bunch of explanations here. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. The very first one is the U-Lock. This is arguably one of the best helmets in the game, hands down, period. It's class four, it covers your ears, and it doesn't give away your position. Yes, non-meming, you can probably put the tan one up here as well and I'll move it up there just so people don't lose their shit about it. But the, the tan color is a dead giveaway. Actually, no, screw you guys. Put that back where it goes. Uh, the black one is the way to go. It is the best helmet out there. It's such a helmet, like quick little plug, you look down below. I make t-shirts out of it because this helmet has saved my life so many times. And a big part of that is the ear coverage in my opinion. This is my go-to helmet. It's the one I run most of the time. It is just hands down the best all around helmet there is in the game but you can get close to it with some of these other ones, particularly the X-Fill and the Airframe. And the one thing these have that the, the U-Lock doesn't is face coverage. The X-Fill has two options, and I'll just show you right here for the players that haven't seen it, because I just happen to have one. The X-Fill is able to put on a face shield as well as ears. Now the ears are only class three, they're not as great, but still better than a lot of other helmets and with the class four top. And then the face shield is also class three. Uh, and just pretty low durability. It's gonna stop pistol rounds, that's about it. Cool helmet, can't see for two shits when you're well on face shields, which I don't really like them, but still, still a top notch S tier helmet, which is why it's also expensive and hard to get to. And that's kind of the same with the airframe. You know, that's why we have the airframe up here as well. And it's actually better than the X-Fill with its protection. And I'll show you specifically why. Um, the airframe does have a couple of options with gear. You have uh, just the ears as well as the chops. It's probably one of the most attachment heavy uh, helmets that you can have out there. So the ears just cover the ears like you can see there. Um, and they are class, th uh, class three aluminum, but you have chops, which are class three aluminum as well. And those cover the ears and the jaws. So you get a lot more coverage on your face wearing this. And I don't have a face shield because I don't have it unlocked yet. I don't have samples and I haven't found one. So I got to use this, this little dinky face shield here that just covers eyes and face. But the full face shield will actually triple up, double up, sorry, with uh, the jaws. So you have the face shield and these, the, these chops protecting a lot of your face. It's lower protection, but it's doubled up, which provides a little bit more. And you can even do some crazy stuff, um, whether this is going to last or not. Uh, you can put these different pieces on and end up with a lot of coverage. Three layers in everywhere on your face for the most part, as far as how this covers stuff. But I'm getting kind of into the weeds on that. I don't want to talk about that too much, but airframe, great helmet, great coverage, S tier helmet. 
Now the next one is a niche kind of deal. It is super good though, and that is the Vulcan helmet. The reason I say that is because this is class six. This is a class six helmet. It's the only one in the game, which means this thing can stop tons of different rounds flat. I have been shot in the back of the head with this thing because I couldn't hear. I ran right by a guy and I couldn't hear anything, but I ate two BP rounds in the back of the head from his SKS and was able to turn around and kill him because he was confused. He, could, he couldn't understand why I didn't die because he shot me with BP. But that's why, because it's class six and higher durability. Its face shield is only class four, so it's not as good of an Alton on that side, but it is just a super heavy duty helmet. It's huge on your head too. You look like a, you look like a guy from Spaceballs when you're wearing it. So that is all of the helmets uh, for the most part. We got a couple more here to talk about and I forgot one. Give me two seconds, editing magic will fix it. I gotta get the trooper in here to talk about it as well. Okay, we're back, trooper face shield. Let's get those covered real quick first. So you got the new death shadow face shield. And this is gonna go right into S tier. And that's because it doesn't conflict with much of anything. You can wear it under all sorts of stuff. So I'll we'll just go to an example here and I'll show you, um, let me put it on, it's on right now. So you, you can wear glasses with it and BSG might change that. You might not be able to in the future, it just depends on what they decide to do, but you can wear glasses with it now, armored glasses, which means you can have two layers of protection on your eyes because this covers uh, eyes, jaws, and, and face. So that's your three lower hit boxes on, on your character. But as far as helmets, there's not really any limitations. I mean, you can you can't wear it with a well. That's the earpiece that does it. You can wear it with an Alton. So like, you can even wear it with an Alton and have a mask underneath, and along with most of these other face shields, and get really crazy coverage, and just kind of look like a badass inside your inside your goofy helmets. It's S tier because you can just wear it with everything. It is expensive though. It's not just a cheapy thing you can go buy um, until you get it unlocked. But this is, it's also locked behind a Lightkeeper task. Uh, so way far down the road before you can get it. Most people are, you're only gonna either find it on Scav Bosses, which is where I found, I think I found that one off a of Scav Boss, a minion, or you're gonna get it off of players, or you're gonna spend two, 300K on it on the flea market, depending on the time of day that you buy it. And then the trooper. The trooper is going to go into C because, again, it doesn't block anything. It doesn't really get in the way. There's a couple of things you can't wear with it, but that's not important. The thing that I put it in C class is because it's only class two and it will make you feel safer than you really are. Ammo with as little as 15 penetration is going to blow right through this thing. Maybe not quite half the time, but really close. Two rounds of pen 15 ammo is probably going to kill you. Uh, maybe not if you're lucky. Um, it doesn't hurt to put this thing on, but I don't want to make it seem like it's an A tier item because people are going to wear it and feel safer than they really are uh, when there's other face shields that are safer than this thing. Yes, it doesn't crack. It doesn't obscure your view. It is really cool looking, but it will give you more confidence in safety than you really actually have. So just keep that in mind when you use it. Now, the next one we're going to talk about is an S tier for a couple of different reasons. And you're probably gonna laugh at me for this and it's kind of a meme, but it's kind of serious. So we'll go into the handbook and we'll look at the helmet just cause I can't buy one and show it to you right now. This thing literally covers everything from your shoulders up. It covers your neck, throat, jaws, eyes, ears, nape, head, top, and face. And it doesn't obstruct your view. It's class two armor. So this is going to stop a lot of shotgun rounds. And I've actually had this thing save me a few times from shotguns, memeing around running with it. But there's a couple of things that come from this. Players don't expect you to see it, except during Halloween, people know it. But if you can get a hold of these, if they show up in your scav case, which I don't know if they're in the loot pool right now or not, if you can get them outside of Halloween, a player sees you with this and usually just stops because they have no idea what to think because there's a glowing uh, jack-o'-lantern coming at them. And it gives you a couple extra seconds to react and shoot. Plus, it's really good against the scavs because, again, it'll stop a lot of the ammo with class two. A uh, buckshot thing like that, it's going to stop those. Downside is you can't wear ears with it. It is kind of muffled and everybody can see you because it's giant orange and it's got glowy lights coming out of the front of it. So yeah, you might want to disagree that the pumpkin's an S tier. It's up here as fun. But the same thing goes with the brawler mask. And this mask has saved me from more player scavs than any ever bullet could. I have countless clips of using this, putting this on as a PMC, and I can run around with player scavs all day long and they have no idea I'm a PMC. This thing put lul scavs into a false sense of security. Player scavs, obviously AI scavs see right through it. But because of the content it generates, the fun you can have with it, and the pure psychological armor that it gives you, it's just an S tier piece of gear to wear. And then I save the best for last. Probably one of my most used pieces of gear that people don't understand. Everybody thinks the boonie is just drip. It's not S tier, but it is definitely A tier. And it's because it will keep you from being spotted. 
when I'm sniping, when I'm posting up and I'm providing Overwatch or anything like that, the biggest thing is concealment. You don't want to be seen because then somebody can just counter snipe you. Well, with helmets, it's a perfectly round shape and people see that. People's eyes tune into that. It's easy to catch. It stands out. The boonie breaks up that silhouette. It makes it more difficult for you to see, especially if you're good at using cover. So while it provides zero protection in the way of armor, it will provide you concealment that prevents you from being shot and allows you, I mean, I've had people run right past me and not see me when I'm wearing the boonie. You can argue that that just because players in Tarkov are kind of oblivious and don't see things anyways, I'm gonna go with it was the boonie that saved me. But that's the list. I hope it was helpful. I hope you guys learned some stuff. I hope you liked it. Maybe you got a couple of chuckles out of it. That was the kind of the whole point was to give something good and valuable, but still have some laughs. Don't forget to hit that like button, support the channel. You know, if you really like this stuff, make sure you subscribe so you see this when it comes out, especially with that notification bell. That's super important as well. Now, throw me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you disagree, where you thought I should move stuff around or, or helmets that you think I'm an idiot because I put them too low. Whatever it might be, throw it in there. Regardless, I thank you guys for your time. I appreciate you watching the video all the way through. If you made it, we'll wrap her up there. I wish you the best of luck in your raids, and we'll see you in Tarkov.